pleasant evening, isn't it, Ando? Floodlights are on, uh, but it's still light and um, mild temperature and dry. Lovely night for a yeah. game, yeah. Uh, sprinklers are on. Um, big night for a lot of these Tranmere boys. Uh, probably be the biggest crowd a lot of them have played in front of as well so uh, opportunity to go and shine and, and show what they're about but I just think that the 11 that Eddie Howe has, has picked uh, should still have too much I mean there's still an awful lot of experience in that Newcastle United starting up. Yeah only Willett keeps his place from Manchester City it's Darlow, Kraft, Lascelles, Dummett and Target, Willock, Longstaff, Anderson, Murphy, Ritchie and Woods game is going to get underway any second uh, with Anthony Backhouse, the referee, just checking with the two goalkeepers. Uh, quite a few empty blue seats on the far side and uh, behind the um, large stand, single tiered. Uh, but the biggest of all four sides of Trenton Park away to our right. And Tranmere Rovers looking to cause an upset. Newcastle looking to avoid going out at this stage, something they've done in four of the last five seasons. We are underway. BBC Radio Newcastle and NUFC TV. It's a Tranmere throw. About 15 yards into Tranmere territory. Longstaff, that's a brilliant flow to diagonal ball. Murphy on his chest and Murphy with Newcastle's first effort of the game. Straight at the goalkeeper, came off his toes, I think. Yeah, Maybe needed a bit more power. It was the greatest take. Good ball, good switch of play. Longstaff took it on his chest but it got away from him he's always stretching he just toe pokes it uh, both sets of fans were asked by Tranmere Rovers to take part in a tribute in the ninth minute uh, to the nine-year-old girl Olivia Pratt Corbell who was murdered in Liverpool and more fans joining in now with the applause over the halfway line, one of them Kraft flicks on, then Ritchie heads inside towards Wood. One Tramir player heads it against another, then Willock, now for Wood, back to Willock, just outside the box. Murphy overlap from target, Murphy's gone for goal himself and missed the target. Poor effort. Target, great decoy run. Murphy cut inside, you can see what he's trying to do, he's trying to bend it in that keeper's top left-hand corner. Willock. Send a couple of subs to warm up Newcastle, including uh, Trippier, Bruno, Joe Linton is there. Anderson, just outside the D, lines up a shot. Right-footed Elliot Anderson wide. Open up for him. He didn't get out to close him down. 20 yards out. Just pulled his right foot shot. Wide at that right-hand post. Never trouble the keeper. A couple of little flashes from Anderson in the last few minutes. formerly of Celtic and now they work it nicely and the flag stays down and Tranmere are in they've got three to shoot at goal and the ball across from Jacob Cogley is touched in by Elliot Nevitt so if they get anything around the area later tonight I'm sure he'll put his name down for it but losing 1-0 Newcastle work to do Here's Trippier's delivery, it's round the back. And then a header from United, Elliot Anderson. Got a big deflection, out. standing near to the penalty spot. Corner kick. Trippier with the corner on this near right-hand side. Floated to the back of the box. Lascelles with a header, blocked on the line. And then followed up by the skipper, who gets Newcastle level. Jamal Lascelles has scored. First effort, blocked at the near post, straight back to him smacked it across goal and inside the far post and after 40 minutes it's Tranmere Rovers 1 Newcastle United 1 well we talked about poor defending for, for their goal it's awful defending from Tranmere they just leave them all on their own at the back post not only does he get one touch comes back to him and he puts it in the top of the roof of the net it's uh, taken on by Rhys McAleer right wing Domet oh that's risky towards Darlow caught late by Hemmings free kick given and uh, Newcastle surround the referee uh, Darlow on the floor in the six yard box caught late by the striker could be a painful one Anthony Backhouse uh, maybe it was, it was 
was one of them, it was a short ball. So does he have every right to go for it? He had every right to go for it. I mean, they've gone for it, the studs are shown. But you can't say he... It was a ball he had to go for. It's been yellow carded. Darlo is on his feet, slight limp, but will hopefully be fine. Mark Gillespie on the bench is the backup goalkeeper. He's gone for a jog. Keeper bounces the ball. Long kick into Newcastle's penalty box is the last piece of play in the first half. It is level at the break. Having a look. Picking someone out. It's the run of Murphy. It's a good run. Almost into the corner on the left. Murphy's kept it in. Challenge comes in. Corner kick given. It was... Kyle Jamieson who came from left side of central defence out to the right to track Murphy who got a touch just on the line and was heading into the corner and Kieran Trippier is going to take this one no quick corner from Anderson to Trippier right arm in the air Trippier in swinger headed oh, in yeah. and it's Chris Wood who has scored the goal and he is mobbed by supporters who run to the bottom of the stand and celebrate with the rest of the United players all in a huddle. Corner from Trippier, who after coming on has delivered two balls that have led to two Newcastle goals as they turn it around. A simple free header from Wood into the middle of the goal. 53 minutes, Tranmere Rovers 1, Newcastle United 2. Uh, pretty straightforward, ball whipped in, just gets away, free header. Nobody went with him, nobody attacked it. Same as the first goal, they got done. Tranmere just poor defended. First time left footed ball in, good one. Dacus Cogley with a big header away. There were two Newcastle men there, Willock and Anderson, but the defender got the header. Now Wood onto Willock. Joe Willock is in. Denied by Neil Byrne with some last ditch defending after he brought it down, lifted it away from a defender. But just as he was about to pull the trigger, Byrne got in the way for Tranmere. Still yeah, 2 better, 1. Better tempo to the to a game in the second half, playing with a bit more pace. Tranmere just can't live Another with move. It. Here's Willock, freed up by a ball from Trippier. Broke the lines on the shoulder of the last defender when he received the ball, but a challenge comes in and sticks it behind for a Newcastle corner. Yeah. Chances are starting to appear, gaps are starting to appear. Tranmere starting to be run ragged. Uh, Josh Hawkes, by the way, came on for John Nolan in the Tranmere midfield there change with goals from the cells and wood and another Kieran Trippier corner out swinger all wide of goal from Elliot Anderson standing on the penalty spot met it on the volley inside of the right boot they just don't attack those corner kicks do they they're caught very static from the balls played in nobody really reacts to a ball played in there nobody goes and attacks it and when players Say he's a good lad, like him. On Newcastle's terms. And he always speaks very highly about the players he has, but tends to turn down the opportunity to comment on potential signings. But we'll see. Here's Wood. Oh, ball over the top. Wood is in. Saved by the keeper, and it's a good save by Hewalt. The ball caused all manner of problems in the Tranmere back line, and it dropped over the top. Wood judged it correctly, That's and as it came down the shot at an angle right side but Matthias Hewitt, the keeper denied him. Oh, he should have scored big chance big chance to really seal it to wrap it up, gets himself in Newcastle can make sure that they are there with a third goal here's the corner, header from Botman great save, Sven Botman planted a header on it near post Six or seven yards out, Matthias Hewalt has tipped it over the bar for another corner. Struggle from set pieces, haven't been able to handle corner kicks from here, they've been really poor defending it. It's found Ritchie, Trippier, attacking down the right Newcastle. Have they got time to get a third? That's it. Doesn't matter, they are through to round three of the League Cup. 
coming from behind to beat League Two Tranmere Rovers by two goals to one here at Brenton Park.